Hi everyone and welcome to today's episode of the vlog series. Uh, today we're going to talk to you about one of the questions we get asked the most at BDI Resourcing and that is interview questions and answers for NHS doctor jobs. Okay, so we're going to get straight into these. Uh, the first section of most interviews, and it's worth noting that interviews will obviously vary from hospital to hospital. Everyone will have their own script, every doctor will ask different questions, but the first section is usually something about talk me through your CV, your background, your experience to date, that kind of thing. So the usual sort of question to kick an interview off is a biographical question. Um, the kind of answers that they're going to want to hear to these are going to want to be specific about the role that you're interviewing for. So of course if you're interviewing for a senior role in emergency medicine then they might not want to hear all the way back to your internship years, they want to hear about your senior experience as an emergency medicine doctor of course. Um, so try and keep it as relevant as possible to the role that you're interviewing for. Um, equally if you're interviewing uh, as an international doctor for a role in the UK one of the things that they're going to really want to know about is the similarities between the work you've been doing internationally and the work you would be doing in the UK. So anything that you can draw attention to, um, the size of the hospital you've been working in, the type of surroundings you've been working in, uh, any qualifications you've done that fall in line with UK qualifications, anything along those lines is going to be really, really important and that's the kind of answers that they are looking for at that point of the interview. Okay, so the second section of most NHS doctor interviews uh, will be a clinical scenario based question. Now, obviously these will vary entirely depending on the grade that you're interviewing for and of course the speciality that you're interviewing for as well. Um, think back to your Royal College based qualification questions uh, or your PLAB exam questions, things like that. They won't be anything to trip you up, they'll just want to hear safe answers. So of course if you're coming in as an international doctor, um, it might be expected that uh, procedures and protocols and everything are done very differently. So they may not be testing necessarily for your clinical knowledge, of course they will want to hear that as well, um, but just as much they'll want to hear about how you would handle a situation. So answer honestly, answer safely, don't be afraid to go to safer um, things like I would refer this to a consultant or a senior registrar if you're a junior doctor. Um, but yeah, give the basic, simple, safe response. That's the best advice you can give um, anyone ask, uh, being asked those questions. Okay, so the final part of most NHS doctor interviews uh, is around your future aspirations and prospects for your time in the UK. So, uh, they may ask you questions about plans to go into training schemes or to go through CESAR or to move up towards consultant level or additional learning, all of those things. And this is a real opportunity, of course, for you to talk about um, how you plan to stay in the UK for a long time and to talk about your chosen field of specialism. Um, one thing to be really, really clear on here, of course, is that they're going to want to hear that you want to stay in the field that you're interviewing for. So, if you're interviewing for a trauma and orthopaedics role, then of course uh, they're not going to want to hear that you uh, plan to spend a year in trauma and orthopaedics and then go into GP training, for example. Um, so it's important to make sure you tell them about your long-term aspirations within the chosen field. Uh, they may also want to know about what you know about the local area, the region, the hospital, the department, all of those things. So make sure you do your homework because of course that will also show them that you are serious and really keen uh, and obviously from your perspective um, doing all of that research and homework will make sure that um, when you do arrive it is definitely the place for you and of course it will be the right move for you. Okay, so some final thoughts on uh, interviews for doctors joining the NHS. Um, one thing we often get uh, quite a surprising response on is how short the interviews sometimes are. So 20 to 30 minutes is actually quite a normal amount of time for an international doctor, particularly for a junior or middle grade level, um, to be asked questions. Um, a great deal of the, the kind of preconception that you'll be giving is from your CV and your background and your history, which the doctors will have already seen in your, um, in your submission uh, to the vacancy. 
So don't be concerned if it is short and sharp. Um, also, uh, one of the key things to take away is that no one is gonna try and trip you up with any trick questions or anything like that. So just be open, honest, clear and concise in your answers and you should do absolutely fine. Okay, I do hope that that's been of some use in learning a little bit more about NHS interviews. Um, as we mentioned in the video, we can't really give the questions and answers for absolutely everyone because of course, specialisms and uh, grades vary considerably. Um, if you wanted to learn more about specifics, then please do get in touch with us. We've got a team of expert recruiters that cover all areas of specialism and all different grades and should be able to give you more clear and concise um, responses on the types of questions that you may be asked. As always, we'll put the contact details up at the end of the video.